it is as quiet as it sounds on Indian Trace. Want to document artifacts always. That's the only reason you click this in. And I'm usually stubborn. A handful of artifacts that I want to show you. Just time. And then there's a, it looks to be a uniface, Guilford round, made out of milky quartz. But, but I looked at the edges, so it looks like it's, you know, really well worked. Or, or, or that's exactly the way they wanted it to be, and it looks balanced. So that's going to be a nice point to discover. Uh, it seems to be that, just within my mind and my heart, that the shout-outs are going to, uh, you know, folks who are, are really just looking to step forward and put their best foot forward in hunting the artifacts of the North American Indian. I'm at Notchville. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I didn't want to take too, too long, but it's just, it's just beautiful for those who can't get out or don't have a place. I share mine with you. Uh, the, the dual couple who are looking to get out, maybe hunt together or what have you, uh, such as uh, I think Brad and Jan, or I should say Janet, for sure, want to find some artifacts, and they will. They will. And these two shout-outs in the last couple videos, uh, you know, uh, they've just started. So there's not a whole lot of videos being posted. So it's not about trying to get them subs or whatever. I'm not really in, into the world of subs. It ain't no big deal to me. Um, I'm into the world of discovering the North American Indian and learning. Every time you go out, you can learn. Or you should learn, that's for sure. But you got to... You got to be stubborn. You got to be tenacious. And it's going to happen. And the artifacts that you see that I find in groups and what have you, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, they don't come in as fast as you see them on video. Definitely don't. Definitely not. Well, let me, let me look here. I'm just doing a little join the hunt here. So um, I'm looking down and I just say, that's got to be a piece of broken rock. And then I look closer and I can see on these uniface pieces that there's a, uh, Slight top work, well-worn area along the whole top in the bottom edge here. That's two inches right there. Take a look at this. Right? And uh, Brad, hope everything's going good, and uh, I hope you get the chance to get out and really develop the hobby. Whoop, I'm sorry, guys. Piece of worked base. Of course, it's quartz, as you can see. I'm so used to things being translucent. A lot of guys on YouTube mention it and what have you. Little Marl Mountain here, great tip. Uh, I like when people get excited and I can remember fondly when I just started collecting and was trying to put together places that might hold artifacts. These broken pieces right along the line here. Look at these four, five. And, uh, you know, I'd be happy as could be just these four at the bottom to come in and and just know that I'd found a a real artifact but as you get better and as you get more knowledge you get more educated about your places and your sites you start bringing in stuff that's uh that's there it's there but you play the odds statistics and probabilities and you go out there it's a nice point right there And uh, you do better. You do better and better as time moves along. So keep your hope alive. Keep moving forward. Look at this. It's 
so silly. Some people think, well, they just put those out there. Well, look for yourself. No, we don't. And that's just a stupid thought to me. I mean, I just can't even imagine. I won't even go through the trouble of thinking, putting, what, putting, putting artifacts. Look at this. This is a uniface. Look at that. Putting artifacts somewhere in order to film them. What a waste of time for me. I can't even comprehend that. I just, it's just beyond me. It's going to clean up nice. I can feel it all over. It's worked absolutely perfectly on the whole convex side, if you will. Bit of a Guilford round. Can you see that? Let me see if I can clean it up. Oh, hang on a little bit. Hang on a second. This is a unique piece. Oh, look at this. I found so many, but uniface ones, no. And that means one-sided, I guess, I believe. I could be wrong, I'm always learning every day, but it's just one-sided, but that's not even broken. I can feel they just really worked on polishing or, or working, working with the flake of rock that they had. Balanced it off, it's worked along all the edges. That's a great illustration of it. little piece of soapstone. It's nice and quiet out here. Just going to share that a little bit. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And again, Brad, Janet, hope you find when you start hunting. Uh, this stuff is out there. Be well.